Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sanitary 103. So in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate and show you my entire warm-up and stretching routine that I perform prior to deadlifting. Now, warming up is essential because it's going to minimize the chances of getting an injury such as a pulled hamstring, uh, hyperextension of your, your joints, your ligaments, and stuff like that. So the first thing you want to do, if possible, is you want to perform some light cardio, nothing too heavy, just to get the blood pumping. You could just go uh, on the treadmill if you're at the gym and just do a brisk walk for a few minutes. Uh, right behind me, I have an elliptical right here, low impact, just a couple of minutes, you could do that. Or uh, maybe some jump rope, and you want to get the blood flowing. Once you do that, you want to get right into your uh, stretching routine. And this is what I've been doing for years, and by doing this, I have lessened the chances of uh, getting injuries over the years. So here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Apologies for any uh, crazy cam camera angles. I'm doing this by myself. So you wanna just sit down and put your legs apart right here, hands up and just go down. If you can't touch your nose to the floor, don't worry about it. I used to be able to do that during my martial arts days, but just go down. Try your best. You'll feel the burden right here on your hamstrings. Just hold that for a little bit. And then also to your right side, just go down. Hold it. Same thing with the left side. I like to go back down a little bit. Then the next thing, two feet in, kind of like a butterfly, heels together, push them in, and right here, these little wings, as you put your hands right here, push these down a little bit. Just hold it. Okay. Legs out, one leg crossed over the other, elbow opposite hand, just push. Feel it back here, your ass area. Same thing, other side. Then I like to just repeat it a few times, but on this time, same thing, but kind of balance a little bit. While going down, balance to the right, balance to the left. And the reason. I like to balance is when you deadlift, you're going to be bending your knees and that motion of bending, which I'll show you in a second, is the motion you're going to be performing when you're deadlifting. So I like to mimic that motion. Just kind of go down. Same thing here. This is kind of like a sit and reach back in the junior high days, right? And then in again. Now, so moving right along on your feet, legs out, hands touching right here. Now this part I like, two hands, your elbows together, down, and rock back and forth. While keeping your legs extended out straight. You'll feel it back here on the hamstrings. This is very essential because one of the biggest injuries you might suffer, which I've had happen, are the hamstrings when you deadlift. So you want to get those nice and warmed up. Legs together, hands. It's kind of like the sit and reach on the floor, but reverse and hold it right here. Next, as you're on your feet, one leg, whoops, on your feet, just pulled it. Other leg, losing balance a little bit, don't worry. Nice. So you get a side view. Hopefully you can see that. If you want to bend this leg behind, touch your butt and grab it with the left leg, left hand. Grab and hold it. You'll feel this one on the, the front 
the front quad. And then right arm, right leg, hold it. If you lose your balance a little bit, that's okay. And for more advanced, you can kind of push like that if you want to. You feel it right here, like. All right. Then uh, upper body, you want to like to move around a little bit. Now I've done a more extensive warm-up stretching routine. I'll put that at the end of this video for upper body, but it's similar. I like to just move the joints a little bit. Because when you're deadlifting, you're not just using your lower body. It's a complete compound movement. You're using your entire body. A little arm circle. Back and forth. Right here. All right, just kind of move around. And then the, the last thing I like to do is the hips. Because your hips are your driving point, driving force when you deadlift and go up. And go side to side. Side to side. All right. No, it's not that uh, whatever that thing that the kids do. <laughs> so side to side. And then go clockwise or counterclockwise to begin, doesn't matter and just hip around. It's what you want. You want that mobility, especially when it's in the colder months. Now, when, if it's hotter, like in the summer months when it gets really hot in this garage, I'll still do this routine, but what you'll notice is you won't have to take as long because your body will already be warmed up and sweaty or a little bit sweaty. Or, at the time of this video, it's really cold, so you want to move it around. And this extra time that you use, even though it does take time, it's going to be essential because there are times when I rushed and uh, it messed up my uh, routine or messed up my deadlifting. So, you know, just kind of move around and then you'll get a good feel for yourself. Kick your legs out and you're good to go, and then you want to start your uh, deadlifting, so I'll show uh, one quick set, and then that'll be so it. So here we go, I have a moderate weight, 135, and I uh, feel pretty warmed up, and here we go. I'm going to go with overhand, overhand, underhand grip. If at any point you start feeling some tightness right here as you're bending, re-stretch again, warm up, and then try again. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I just finished that one set and it felt great. I feel very uh, loose and limber and I'm gonna go ahead and off camera finish my uh, deadlifting routine. So uh, if you like that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more uh, content. I put at least two to three new videos per week, exercise tutorials, workout tutorials in general, uh, cooking videos, the whole nine yards. Take care. Bye.